what is life is it an adventurous roller coaster ride or is it a whirlwind of problems is every individual living on this planet perfect i think not i am sure every person has some flaws and has faced failure at least once in their life life as you call it is a combination of both joyful times as well as despondent experiences not all opportunities we get are a piece of cake life is like a complicated mathematical problem people solving this problem can be classified into three categories first people who figure it out at the first attempt second people who find it difficult and give up third people who find it difficult and try again and again till they succeed remember after moon sets sun rises and failure is followed by success so we should never uh, think that i'll never be able to do it this will let you down more and more and then one fine day it will catch you and you'll left with no other option than completing it albert einstein discovered the photoelectric effect mary curie was the first woman to win nobel prize in both physics and chemistry nicholas copernicus discovered heliocentrism the main reason they were successful was because they never lost hope and gave upon themselves even if they failed thousand times they kept trying they tried because they knew that one day they would be successful and they were i remember the time when frustration and vexation surrounded me i had started shutting myself from everyone now let me tell you a story close your eyes and imagine yourself in a dull world where you have given up on everything then one morning you wake up and you feel detached from all the electronic devices and all the people around you and you decide to go on a long walk while walking you check your pockets and you find that you have two types of seeds bamboo seeds and fern seeds because you think they are of no use you search for a dustbin but you find a land full of soil and you see that on the other side of the land is a lake and in the sky the sun is rising standing there you feel relaxed and you decide to plant those seeds after actually doing so you go back home every year you see that the ferns have grown higher and plentier but the bamboo seeds do not grow four years pass but the bamboo seeds do not grow the fifth year before leaving your house you decide that you will remove the seeds but when you reach the land you see a small sprout emerging from the uh, planet although it is seemingly small and insignificant than the ferns however after just 6 months that same bamboo seeds rose over 100 feet tall so you see you did not give up on the bamboo seeds and allowed them to adapt to the environment and when they sprouted they grew higher than the ferns did you see the bamboo se- seeds took 5 years to grow their roots and those roots gave them what they required to survive do you know all this time while you are making number of despondent experiences you are growing one more thing 
can you think of the second thing that you are growing you are growing your roots roots of your life roots that can make you stronger and stronger open your eyes now don't compare yourself with others the bamboo had a different purpose than the ferns did every one has a different purpose towards their life here is a poem that i composed rejected once again the pile is growing will i ever be able to stand at the top of the planet will i ever be able to say hooray for all my achievements or will i be pushed beneath the weight of the garbage with no sound heard ever again it will sting hard but i'll admit the truth that's how rejections are like a bee sting like winter without snow like nature without any trees but i'll be the way i am with all my confidence and courage and strive on and on and on thus you'll only be able to strive on and on and on if you don't give up you do not strive on and on and on for making more despondent experiences rather for making your roots strong so that you can enjoy your cheerful adventures my mother once told me that an individual's best friends are the worst times because they make them stronger and just because of your worst times you have the happiness today tomorrow and forever i am sure all of you might have heard this one quote pain is gain so never give up because there's nothing that is impossible it's just how we deal with it you see when you write the word impossible you actually write i am possible without an apostrophe last but not the least remember after the moon there's the sun waiting to rise after night comes day after black comes white after darkness comes brightness so never say never to become confident and say goodbye to a world of giving up you can make at least 10 affirmation cards that is positive sentences for yourself they could be something like this stick them on a wall and read them aloud every day you might be thinking that how can reading these affirmation cards bring about a transformation reading these aloud can change your beliefs and you'll stop trying to give up after a month you'll notice a little bit of change in yourself you will see that you're giving up less than you used to do before if you continue this in the following months then probably you might stop giving up one day and develop the habit of trying something again and again which is like a rocket science for you also promise yourself that you'll never give up even if you fail a million times because you have to win one day don't be afraid to start over because this time you're not starting from scratch you're starting from an experience thank you